A longtime pioneer for an open internet, Eben Moglen champions the idea of the Freedom Box. They are inexpensive, compact, low power machines like this that can do everything a much larger server computer can do. It starts with a device made by Global Scale Technologies in California, which sells for $100. Think of it as a blank canvas. The company says it can be used for many tasks, like controlling the lights in your house. But combined with Moglin's software initiative, it would become a freedom box designed to circumvent government censorship. If you have one and your friend Susie has one, then you and Susie can have sharing of your lives, like with Facebook and Twitter, except in security, using encryption. Even though it doesn't look like a computer, it can act like one. Instead of a mouse or a keyboard, you'd use a smartphone or a tablet like an iPad to run it. The device plugs into a power outlet and communicates through regular internet access, or if that gets shut off, through a wireless connection. How would this be used, let's say, in a country like Libya? They have no internet because the government has cut their ability to communicate, and cell phone systems are either shut down or jammed. Boxes like these in people's houses could make a mesh that is just the boxes communicating by wireless between themselves. Maybe that's possible. That's, that's very ambitious. Peter Eckersley's Electronic Frontier Foundation supports online freedoms, but he worries the freedom box requires too much computer know-how for most people. No question that it's going to be a daunting project to complete. It's going to take a lot of software uh, that has to be written and has to fit together really well. Moglin's project is still in the very early stages. Still, he sees a day when millions of freedom boxes will be used around the world, a modern day equivalent of two tin cans and some string. We want to put it in all the places where people might need it in order to stay free in the net. If that's revolution, then we're doing it. If he's right, this seemingly innocuous little box might someday support revolutions like the ones we're seeing throughout the Middle East. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, New York.